competitive exams board exams juggling between them is not an easy task and very few marvel at it both competitive and boards are very crucial for all the students and one cannot simply ignore the other it is very very important to manage both the exams as both plays a highly significant role in your career prospect so don't worry guys in this video we'll be discussing how to manage boards as well as competitive exams as the popular saying goes time and tide wait for none yes both can be tapped efficiently with the right technique while tide can be harnessed to generate electrical energy effective utilization of time inevitably generates positive result in all walks of your life invest a few hours say 2 to 3 hours every day for your board exams and you could just give an extra 2 hours for the same topic and study from the perspective of your competitive exam in this manner both boards and competitive exams can be covered while you know both entrance and boards are important don't make the inference that one must balance both all the time learn to prioritize one over the other and prepare a schedule by accordingly allotting time to both if you know that admissions to your target college is through 12th percentage your board examinations should be a greater priority on the other hand if you're trying to get into a college that have entrance exams then invest more in it in case the topics being taught at the school and at your after school coaching are the same try to finish them completely build basics of that topic which will help you in the board exams while solving the higher order questions will be beneficial for the competitive exam board exams follow the traditional practice of blending questions of short and long answers while the focus in entrance exams is on multiple choice questions therefore it is important for a candidate to practice mock test papers of every subject for both exams and that too on a regular basis everyone has a unique style of learning and should focus on what is best for them some students prefer to take up questions or topics that they find the hardest first and solve the easy ones in the end and some try the opposite to it so try finding your style and work on it this will definitely boost your confidence and accuracy relaxation is essential between hectic hours of study so indulge in some physical games or go out for a stroll take a quick nap or talk to a friend family about interesting things eat healthy listen to music or do whatever enjoyable activity that works for you and there is nothing like a regular healthy dose of sleep when you freshen up your mind your batteries would surely be recharged sometimes even the most intelligent students goof up during the final months due to their overconfidence and many so called average students sometimes keep working hard and actively participate in the process of revision result they score better than the other bright students despite being average throughout the year so it's all about the cruciality of time and how well you manage your boards along with your competitive preparation usually students become carefree after board exams and often lose focus on maintaining the same strategy for entrance exams of course you can take a break for a few days to relax but don't lose touch with your studies during the time try to push yourself and effectively utilize the time after your boards with these points in mind you should find the right balance between your boards and competitive exams preparation charles richards once said don't be fooled by the calendar there are only as many days in the year as you make use of them one man gets only a week's value out of the year while another man gets a full year's value out of a week So get up guys start working and start utilizing your time 
to ace both boards and competitive exams.